Hey Aquarius and welcome to your love reading for November. Today we are going to be talking about the person or looking into the person uh, that you're currently connecting with. So this is going to be a reading in between you and that person. We're going to find out what is your recent past, what is your distant past, what is your present energy, your uh, what's crossing that energy. We're going to find out your goal or destiny and also your future energy when it comes to you and the person you are connecting with. If this reading does resonate, there is an extended version below in the description box. You can continue this reading at any time, but like I said, this is a general reading and it may not resonate with everyone, but if it does, by all means, continue the reading below. So let's find out what's going on with you, Aquarius. What is going on in your love life? We are going to find out as the energy rests in this present moment. Okay. So, in the distant past, you have the magician. This is you manifesting. And this could be you manifesting new love. This could be manifesting anything in your life. But I like to keep it um, general and keep it as close to love as possible. Um, because uh, that's what we're trying to focus on. In your recent past, you have the Five of Cups. Um, so the Five of Cups, this is a little regret. You're feeling regret and sadness about something that happened between you and the person you're trying to connect with in the recent past. Uh, you're, um, you know, you've tried your best to uh, connect with this person and maybe it's just not worked out, worked out like you'd want it to. Uh, that usually you will usually see the five of cups after a breakup or something like that. So we'll go further into that. Um, but your present position is the nine of cups. So the nine of cups is you having your wishes fulfilled. So that's awesome. We'll go into that. Uh, the, the thing about the nine of cups though is it is not quite the ten of cups. So what you have may be cool and awesome, but there's something else out there that you want even more. And so if you can find out what that is, that'll take you to your Ten of Cups. And then you have the Ace of Cups that's the influence um, influence in this energy. And this is love. This is new love coming in or new love going out to your person. We'll go in deeper with that. But the goal or destiny is the King of Pentacles. You want to give someone a solid offer or someone wants to give you one. And this is the uh, most solid offer in the deck. This King of Pentacles, he knows how to create abundance. He, he, he has a, a tested and tried plan and that he follows and he knows how to create abundance over and over again. He is very money oriented, but also very stable. Um, could also be a little stubborn though so we'll look into that as the goal or destiny and then the future influence is the judgment card in reverse and so this card right here talks about you not um, answering the call that you know you need to do in life um, there's something that you're being called to do and you're not doing it so we'll go into that and then at the bottom of the deck we have the empress in reverse so maybe you're not sometimes we can feel like we're not good enough maybe and so maybe you're feeling that type of energy but we'll go into this reading and let's get to clarifying first let's clarify the magician that happened in your distant past so what is the magician here for in the distant past you have the ten of wands in reverse the seven of cups in reverse and the three of pentacles okay Let's take a look here. So we have the magician where you're manifesting. You want to manifest. Okay, it looks like you may feel a little overwhelmed with the seven of cups in reverse. Maybe you have a lot of options and maybe you have a lot of, you know, avenues that you can take. Um, but also you could be checking for alignment because you know a lot of these cups are like your vision of what you want your future to be and maybe you're just checking for alignment it to see if this relationship or how it fits into your world it is going to take a lot of work um, or it has taken a lot of work you have worked a lot you have the ten of wands in reverse so you are coming close in the distant past you um, completed a cycle it looks like because this is you releasing so this is you releasing something to manifest. It looks like teamwork because we have the three of pentacles right here. This can refer to um, maybe someone that you met at work. 
that you're trying to connect with or you're trying to um you're trying to you know collaborate with and you want uh, there to be some teamwork and uh things like that so you're trying to manifest you know a good collaboration you're trying to release these things that are not in alignment with what you want because you do have the magician card you are manifesting well, you were in the decent, distant past, but then you have the Five of Cups here in your recent past. So recently you've had some regret. Um, you have the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you feel like you've been left in the cold with the Six of Pentacles. You just want to bring balance to the situation. And the Emperor showed up again. Uh, maybe you're not feeling like you quite measure up to this person's standard. Um, but you do want to bring balance to the situation. So that's good with the, the, you know, the Six of Pentacles. Um, you're having trouble doing that, though, because you are feeling like you're left in the cold with this Five of Pentacles right here. And then, of course, the Five of Cups. This is a lot of, uh, this is a lot of change and a lot of conflict in your recent past. Um, but, yeah, you're trying to bring balance to the situation. And um, there is a lot of sadness hooked to this as well. So let's look at the present energy, though, with the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a really good card. It's your wishes fulfilled. So that's your present ener energy. So that's cool. Let's, let's clarify, though. Let's clarify this Nine of Cups here. All right, so you got the Four of Pentacles in reverse. You're trying to release something. The Eight of Swords, awesome. You are releasing some negative beliefs around this connection. And the Three of Swords, you are trying to heal. This is really good energy. This is you, you know, having your wishes fulfilled. This is good. This is you taking control, getting what you want, feeling satisfaction. You are releasing this person that broke your heart. And you are healing now. Um... It, at one time, you may have had a lot of negative self-talk towards yourself about this connection. Um, or you feel like this person is your wishes fulfilled and maybe you feel like you can't attain it. But it looks like you're you're doing away with that limited thinking. You have the uh, Eight of Swords here. And they are, it is in reverse. And usually this is a self-sabotaging type of energy um, when it is in reverse like this. And there's a lot of... Um, you could have a little negative self-talk with this, but I like to see it in reverse because I feel like you're releasing. And anytime I see the, the, the Three of Swords, I like to see it in reverse. That means you're trying to heal. So you're doing whatever it takes to heal. That is your current energy. You're working on healing yourself. Um, and let's look at the Ace of Cups that's influencing this energy. What is the Ace of Cups here for? Okay, we have the Lovers in reverse. So... This could mean that you are connecting with someone or that is out of alignment with um, what you want in life. And you also have the tower and the seven of wands in reverse. Okay, so um, definitely an ace of cups, though. Um, maybe you feel like you love someone, okay, and you want to extend this cup. But you feel like this person is just, they're not... They're not having it. It, it. If this had come up in uh, this position, then, uh, you know, I would have said that this is a good match. But this is in the opposite position. So this is, uh, there's something about this relationship that is not working out and that is in a line. It feels like you had a tower moment. And this is just something that this is forcing you, this is something that wasn't built on a stable foundation. And so it did crumble down. Um, it could be the fact uh, you were trying to offer your cup of love and this person did not accept it because you have the Seven of Wands here. And the Seven of Wands, this is a very resistant energy, okay? So the Seven of Wands is, uh, you know, fighting back a little bit. But this is also you feeling like you're giving up. And maybe you feel a little overwhelmed by the situation that you have tried everything that you can think of in order to uh, extend your cup of love th to this person. And all it led to was a tower moment. You know, fights uh, just felt like everything crumbled down. It just didn't work out. This could also be your person that feels this way. The energies can be reversed. So if you don't feel like you're resonating with the story, it could be from your person's point of view. But let's go over to the King of Pentacles for the goal or destiny. 
the tower moments are awesome because tower moments force us to make decisions they force us to grow they force us to go back to the beginning and start building and laying foundations that are solid and that will not topple down and so anytime you have a tower moment there's always these little fires that you could have put out beforehand so try to you know look um and see when you see these fires come up i'm sorry i had chicken run earlier and it's trying to come back up but it, you know if you can put out these small fires early then you won't have a tower moment but you know anytime that we let these fires keep burning and eventually it's going to explode and everything's going to crumble down and that's what i feel like has happened and i feel like you're exhausted and you're tired of trying but let's see this king of pentacles for the goal or destiny this is a solid offer this is an abundance mindset too you got the six of swords the princess of swords and the eight of pentacles okay so let's see the six of swords you just want to move on to calmer waters with the six of swords here you're tired of fighting uh you're tired of um you know this is a rite of passage this is you going on to calmer waters or rite of passage you're trying to move on you're trying to heal and um this is the eight of pentacles in reverse this is my self-development card this is you working on yourself this is you perfecting who you are maybe it's perfecting your craft you're trying to learn something new in order to um, better yourself you're looking at future goals and you're trying to align yourself with that um you're doing you're learning something new for work or it could be just um you know just trying to better yourself in general and then you have the princess of swords here i feel like you're learning and you're learning a lot because you have the eight of pentacles and the uh, princess of swords here which this is a card of getting to know someone so this could be you trying to go on and learn as much as you can about a certain subject but it could be about a person this could be you um, talking to someone learning as much as you want to know about them being curious enjoying connecting with someone and it's solid because it's got the king you've got the king of pentacles here um but with that swords right there that can cut through um, a lot of um, cloudiness but the king of pentacles is a solid offer and um i think you may be preparing yourself or you just may be embodying this king of pentacles energy with you're more focused on your abundance rather than you know this relationship because of the tower moment maybe but let's look at the judgment card in the in reverse and find out what you're not leveling up you're supposed to level up in some way let's find out so you've got the seven of swords the high priestess in reverse the seven of swords in reverse and then the five of wands in reverse okay um so this is some inner conflict right here um you're feeling overwhelmed and like you want to give up um with the five of wands in reverse and then you have the emperor in reverse this is you not using your intuition not following your intuition your intuition is telling you something and you're not following it but then you have the seven of swords in reverse now the seven of swords this is a very tricky energy this is an energy of um going behind someone's back this is an energy of um it could be that you're trying to plan um but also it could be that you're just lying to yourself a lot of times this can represent lies and it could be lies towards your person or it could be that you're lying to yourself as far as um not answering the call there's some sort of inner conflict when it comes to this connection um it doesn't feel like love it feels like um this could be towards a uh, career honestly um no this could also be towards a relationship there is something that you know is i think you know this isn't a match and i think you keep lying to yourself saying that you think it's a match or this is the only person for me but when this card comes up in reverse this is a unaligned relationship and i feel like you keep trying to talk yourself into it and you keep lying to yourself saying that it's going to be the perfect relationship but there's some things about it that you know just aren't to par with what you want and i think you know what they are because you have the high priestess in reverse and you're ignoring it and you know uh you know exactly 
what it is, but you're having this conflict and it is a strong conflict. Um, you know what? I'm going to go get you some Oracle cards. I didn't bring any over here. Let me, let me step away for one second and get you some Oracle cards real quick. I don't know why I didn't bring those over here already. I wasn't prepared, I guess. Okay. Let's see. Which ones do I want to take? I have no room. Why did I bring all these? Oh, goodness. I'll keep one here. All right. Let's get you an Oracle card before you go because this is some heavy energy to me. I'm feeling it. It feels heavy. It does not feel light at all. And I want to give you some encouragement. Okay. So let's see what we have from the Work Your Life Oracle before I go. If you want to continue this reading, there will be an extended version down below. So you can just click on that. And you did have a few cards pop out. I'll go ahead and read them all just because I'm cool like that. <laughs> okay, this is Don't Dim to Fit In. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? So, you know, this is hiding who you are as a person, truly. You need to open up and be truly authentic and not worry about what other people think, okay? I do know you have this empress in reverse, so maybe you feel like you're not good enough or you feel like you have to dim a little bit in order to... Um, to fit in with the crowd or um, to please this person. Maybe you feel like you're walking on eggshells. Um, but yeah, some people can't handle your light. If you're being light and you're being bubbly and it, it bothers people, then that's their problem. But yeah, don't let others dim your light. Don't let others make you feel less than what you are. Don't let other people make you feel any way. You have to know that you're in control of how you feel and you, and um, the only way that anyone can make you feel less than is if you give them permission to and if you respect their opinion. Um, but if you, you know, the only opinion that I respect is usually my own. <laughs> so go with that. Um, trust the nigel. This is talking about you going within and using your intuition, you know, following uh, the guidance that is within of what you need to do. What is it trying to tell you to do? This also goes with not answering the call as well. And this says align your life. You need to align your life with your goals. Whatever is not aligned or needs to change, you do need to start taking action towards that. Um, and you may come up against uh, strife. You may come up against people sometimes that do not agree with how you want to live in life. But you have to understand that this is your life and no one has control over your life and that you are able to pick and choose uh, anything that you want to create in life with this manifestation card over here. You are doing that. Let's get back to that. Let's get back to manifesting. But I will continue this reading in the link below. We are going to find out your, we're going to find out your current, your person and your current attitude. We're going to find out your person's um, environmental factors. We're going to talk about you know, fears and, and emotions. And then we're going to get the final result of between you and the person you're connecting with. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.